Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. Today, today, we have the Dior Birds of a Feather collection. Now, I did not, I did not purchase the whole collection, although I was tempted. I have to say, I had to show a very, very strong restraint to not buy the entire thing, but I am excited about the Dior Birds of a Feather. I've been, I think this is the most highly anticipated collection for me for fall. Now, as you know, I did not buy any Chanel, so I kind of bought a little bit more Dior. <laughs> like, in my head, that's what I thought. <laughs> but we're going to talk about it. So, y'all know Peter Phillips. If you don't know, Peter Phillips is the creative and image director of Dior Makeup. And I'm just going off some of the things. I want to tell you a little bit background of this collection. So he, his imagination was filled with images of spectacular birds and their plumage with iridescent tones and things like that. So that's what you're going to see in a lot of these shades and colors and things like that. And so there are two palettes. I did pick up both palettes and there are three Rouge Graphist, Graphist? Those are the three lip crayons. Now, I did not get those, but I may have to. <laughs> I, Lexi from Lexi Zhang, she tried on one and I'm like, what are you wearing? And she said, one of these lip crayons. And I was like, oh, okay. And then there are two new blushes and all of them have this beautiful embossed feather. And it's almost so gorgeous. You don't even want to use it. Three new Dior Vernis limited edition nail colors. Now, I did pick up one of the nail colors and I, I have it on my toes. <laughs> I have it on my toes. This one is Early Bird 812. It's so pretty. I thought it would have a little bit more of the like hue, like duochrome, but I personally like that it doesn't because I'm just more of a natural girl when it comes to nails anyway. And this is like definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> And then, let's see, what else? What else? I feel like there was something else. Oh, three eyeliners. Three eyeliners. There are some other lip colors that are in the collection. There's your Ultra Care Liquid. I forgot how much I love this formula. This formula, you guys, feels like petals, rose petals on your lips. I love it. I'm going to have to get more of this. This is in 483. This is a new shade. I list all the new shades because it was a pretty large collection that released. So yeah, I'll leave everything down below, how much everything is, and all the new pieces as, long, as well as the number, corresponding numbers so that you guys are able to check them out yourselves as well as links. So we can go ahead and get into makeup, okay? <laughs> now, I do have face on. I am wearing the Suki foundation. This is in the, this is the cream foundation 035. I'm wearing that as well as the Kokendo. This is sheer moisture powder. I really like this powder. This was gifted, but it's so nice for those who may have drier skin or don't want a very powdery finish. Light dusting does the trick. And then I have my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Now, if you, I did not put any, I did not put any bronzer on yet because I want to show you, I always like to show you what the blush looks like without bronzer, okay? I will be putting on bronzer. Now, this is the blush I purchased. This is 468. Guys, it looked gorgeous online. It is beautiful in person. I want to show you what it swatches. It is a little sparkly. A lot, well, you know, it has a little sparkle in it. And I didn't realize that these were going to have sparkle. But I kind of like it. And y'all know I don't like sparkle and blushes. <laughs> I don't know, just it's so subtle. Here, I want to swatch it for you so you can see. But this is one already. It's, it's so subtle. Isn't it beautiful? I really like, I don't really have a blush this cool, I feel like. I may have one or two, but nothing like this. It is a very powdery blush. It's not super, super creamy. It does have kick up in the pan. 
that's pretty much the formula. Uh, let's try it on though. I want to show you what it looks like and I had a blush brush right here. <laughs> what kind of blush brushes do you like to use? I'm curious. I always tend to go for either a rougher, like this one here, a rougher 04. That's a really good one. Or I actually really like the Hermes one too. So uh, let's see. So this is what's coming up on the brush. You can see that there is kick up in the pan. I personally, it doesn't bother me, but I am going to. And I like, I've been putting it higher on the cheeks. I feel so modern when I do that. Anyone else? You know, I, so there's a Sicily blush that's pretty, but it's not like my favorite blush. It's the four, and it has a sheen, it has a sparkle sheen to it, but this one is less of a sheen, and I like it a lot better. Um, this is gorgeous. Like, look at that. I love the shade too. I feel like it's a very pretty shade. What do you think? So this is the only blush I did pick up because the other one was quite orange, but I thought, I don't know. I liked that one too, <laughs> but I wanted to try something a little different and something a little bit more, maybe, maybe more cool. Cause I tend to go towards warm colors anyway. I don't know. Y'all know what I mean, right? I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer, the Gucci bronzer on real quick, just to warm the So I did pick up two of the eyeshadows. I, both of them. I couldn't decide. So I did play with this one yesterday and it is early bird 659. This one is insanely beautiful. <laughs> insanely beautiful. I have a picture of me wearing it on my Instagram feed. So it kind of shows you a little bit of what it would look like. I'll post it here too so you can see it. But I will swatch it and all of these shades are pretty sparkly so if you're not into shimmer sparkle or anything like that let's see if I can do this I always try to do this there you go they're creamy they're beautiful so if you're not into those types of shades and this would not be the palette for you if you're wanting more of a matte finish or something and then let's do this purple here So that is the early bird. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It just blends like a dream. It's beautiful, y'all. I did really like this one. So first impressions, I had to try that one. I was like, oh, I really need, you know, it's really beautiful. We are going to swatch night bird. This, these are just so different than anything I have. That's why I was like, yep, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> Four, five, nine, Nightbird. These are 65 US dollars, I believe. Um, a little bit more expensive because they are limited edition. So we are going to swatch Nightbird. I'm just kind of going here. And let's see. I'm not very good at swatching all at one time. <laughs> I've got to get better at that. It's actually a, quite a, a difficult thing to do. <laughs> so that is, those are the four shades, the first four shades, including the middle with the middle shades right here. I, I love the color combination. Now this one here is like a duochrome. I mean, look at this one. But it has a shift to it in the pan. I don't know if, you're, if it's making out on this on the camera but it does have quite it has like a little purple shift like right here this one 
It has some purple in it. So I'm going to put one on one eye and one on the other eye. Let's start with Nightbird because why not? Or should we just do a whole look with this one? I don't know. I don't know. There will be more looks, guys. There will be more looks, I promise. For this video, I thought, you know, we just do one look for one eye and one look for the other eye. Let's start with this shade. I'm just thinking we could start on the lid with this shade. That's beautiful. You could just wear this one shade and be good. <laughs> just for a day, right? But this is Nightbird. I feel like Nightbird is supposed to be more night. <laughs> I really good. Okay, Jen. So I'm taking a ref. I really like these smaller brushes. This is a refer 14. And I'm gonna go in to the green here and throw it right here just to see. Wow, guys. Y'all, that's gorgeous. <laughs> let's do the blue right here. Um, let's do blue on as liner. So I'm using a Makeup Forever 250. It's like a really, really fine pencil. Just a little on the outside. I'm really going to use a uh, Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes 13, kind of like a dense brush. I'm going to go in that blue and just throw it right here. Not a lot, just itty bitty. Can you see? It's almost like a blue turquoise. Little fallout, not a ton, but a little bit. Oh my gosh, y'all. That is so pretty. Now I'm like, what do I, I kinda wanna put this, this color. Now I'm like, can we put that right here? Can we use them all? <laughs> I'm just seeing what they look like together, you know? I feel like I would use this one more on its own. It's pretty. Or, oh, I don't know. Kind of gives it a little bit of... Okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. What about this one? We're like, no, what about that one? Should we deepen a little bit more? Yes. <gasps> How gorgeous. It, see how easy that is? And it's color without being too much, I feel like. So we just used every single one of these shades. That's insane. I do wanna show you these three eyeliners here. All right, so let's talk about them. So they're 0.2 grams. They're intense waterproof eyeliner, 24 hour style -o. This is 796 Iridescent Taupe. This is what that looks like. And I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. And that just broke off. <laughs> they are really dry. And uh, quite um, actually disappointing. <laughs> I tried using them yesterday. And although the... The colors are gorgeous. Like, the colors are what sucked me in. The formula is so dry. Like, what is going on? Now, this one's pretty. It's not as dry as this one is. What? This one is 8 
through six, pearly platine, platine. Uh, it's, it's so sad because the colors are so pretty. It's not as bad. That pink one just broke off. Like I have a piece of it right here. 496 iridescent bronze. Now Aileen, she warned me. She said, Jen, these are dry. I'm like, I know, but they're so pretty. I want to dry one. Now the iridescent bronze might do, might be okay. Just seeing what it shears out to be. We'll see. So maybe I'll throw this on top here. Iridescent bronze. Yeah, this one's not bad. Huh, that one's not bad. That one worked well. That one's pretty. Now, I like that one. That one worked. So this one is the Pearly Platine, and this is the one I wanted to use like on the waterline. That one's pretty. That one worked okay. I wouldn't say though, it's like super noticeable. It's just kind of like when you turn your eye, right? So that's the eyeliner. Those are the eyeliners. And you know, I'm not, this one's so dry that I don't even think I can put it on the lid and show you well. Like this one's like a big dud for me. This is the iridescent taupe, which is sad. Kind of bumps me out. <laughs> I like my mug. It's so cute, isn't it? A little mini. Next up, we're going to do this palette. We'll do more looks, I promise. Six, five, nine, early bird, early bird. I love the little names. They're so cute. So cute, aren't they? Okay. Now, uh, uh, I think I'm going to go in with this taupey kind of shade. See what this looks like. I feel like this is a very fall look right? This is very fall. I really like this eye. It's not too much. Ah, I like it. Okay, so we're going to go in here. Now this is that tapey color. You could probably even mix and match these palettes. I bet Peter Phillips, that's what he was wanting. I don't know. Like, I know what he was thinking. Oh, He'd be a cool person to meet, right? That is a lot brighter yellow than I thought it would. Like in the pan, it looks kind of deeper. What do you think? Doesn't it look more, a little more bright, a little less deep? A lot of times these tones seem to go kind of more a little deeper, a little brighter. That's pretty though, very wearable, right? I'm gonna go in with this pinky shade and kind of put it on the lid here. What do you think? Very iridescent pinky shade, pretty. This, I mean, these I would never pick to wear together, but they work. They just work for some reason. I'm using a Sonia G Soft Definer. This is in her new collection. And I'm going to go in with this color here. And I'm putting it right here. Just on the outer edge. Now this is pink but it does deepen to almost this very pretty purpley, pinky shade. Can you see that on top of that other color? Mm-hmm. 
Wow. I'm going to use this deeper shade here. Okay. I've been, I want to show you, try to show you all of the shades. And we're going to deepen it right here. Just and along the base. Mm, it's gorgeous. It's like not too much, right? I don't know. I just love that. And then I'm going to take this shade here. And it's a very kind of iridescent, sparkly, beautiful shade. And we're going to pull it in. There you go. What do y'all think? Totally different for me, but extremely wearable. It kind of gives the eye a little bit more depth and it's really cool, right? I just feel like it's so cool. All right, I'm gonna put on mascara. Okay, okay. so this is what the eye looks look like with mascara. I don't know which one my favorite is. Which is your favorite? I'm curious. Last but not least, we are gonna go in with this lip. This is the Rouge Dior Ultra Care Liquid 483. I love it. I love it with this. I, I think the color is gorgeous. Now, on the website, Dior is notorious for their, their colors looking so different on the website than what they look like in real life. This looked super mauve or mauve on the website. It's more pink. But I love it. <laughs> I love this formula. And I love it with this look. What do you think? Let me know. I'm curious to hear your thoughts about the new collection from Dior for Fall. I am curious if you picked up anything. Did you pick up the eyeshadows, eyeliners, things like that? I'm kind of a little on the eyeliners. Should have listened to you, Aileen. <laughs> But I wanted to try them out for myself. And yeah, if things don't work, they don't work. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited about this collection. And I hope that this was helpful for you guys if you're looking at the collection itself. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And I will leave my latest video right here. And I'll see you there. Bye, y'all.